Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more Bio Inc. Redemption in our Lethal Difficulty Guide series. We are continuing the death campaign today, and we are graduating from the morgue to a place with far more dead people, the graveyard. And today's scenario is called Total Failure. Now this one is really not all that difficult. Its uh, main difficulty, really, is that you have to shut down every single one of the subsystems in the human body. That's pretty much it. Normally they would die long before that. This time, no. So it lasts a little bit longer, but otherwise is pretty darn easy as long as you can outmaneuver your doctor opponent. Now we have two different strategies that we could follow with this. One, we could go for emergency bonus with the intention of going fast, right? We focus all of our effort in diseases, shut down a system as quick as possible, get to that emergency room, get the extra points, and try to outrace our opponent. A little hard to do considering we actually have to shut everything down. Right, it's not just, outracing an opponent is a lot harder, this is now kind of a marathon and not a sprint. So the alternative strategy would go for better resources, we'll focus on getting a lot of extra points in the early game, divert all of those to risk factors so that when we do start working against our, uh, our patient, quote unquote, then he will die very, very rapidly. And that's what we are going to do today, it's a slower but I would say safer path. For diseases, we are going to go for collateral damage, very helpful when you have to shut down every single system. Risk factors, uh, we could go for the cheap risks, and that's not terrible since we are going to be uh, getting a lot of those. Alternatively, we could go for overweight, and by doing so, what we're going to do ensure is that as we get risk factors, we are going to be able to shut down that circulatory system in no time at all by making all of them 50% stronger. For our recovery, we are going to go for slow diagnosis so that our uh, doctor has a harder time actually diagnosing the patient, and for environment, quick collapse because that just makes the most sense. Terminate all systems. Did you not know by now that collapse systems will continuously damage the healthy ones? I didn't know these things. Well, there you go. All right, so, you know the drill. Sit around, gather points. That's all there is to it. Um, but we are going to focus on risk factors, as I said. That is a strategy we are employing. And for that, we could focus on things like overweight. Uh, sedentary, and that'll lead toward obesity, junk food, and so on. It also might be worth going for things like workaholic smoker and such, because down here toward a uh, drug addict, you'll have even more risk factors that you can employ against the circulatory system. That said, you also don't necessarily have to put all of your eggs in one basket. Since we went for the overweight booster, we kind of have to focus on that. But besides that, kind of the world's your oyster. If you don't feel like going for uh, the drug addict, that's fine. Uh, you know, by all means... Uh, go for the nymphomaniac. Go for the um, go for the renal system. You know anything really is viable because uh, everything does have to get shut down. So it really isn't that big of a deal. Mostly I'm just sitting around gathering points. Now the good news is so long as our patient does not have any diseases, he's not going to go to the doctor anytime soon. Eventually he will go for a checkup, but I'm not too worried about it right now. So we might as well just store up points. Now remember one of the huge advantages of going for risk factors is not only do they make your diseases more potent when you do finally get them, but a lot of the risk factors actually make things cheaper too, which means... In theory, we will be able to make our uh, points go a much longer way over the course of the game because, hey, we made everything a lot cheaper. It's perfect. So it's just a win-win across the board. If you're not feeling rushed by the AI, by all means, go for a risk factor strategy. It usually works. Some scenarios that are time-based, not so much. But in this case, it's perfect. Overweight. So normally this would do 10% circulatory damage. Now it does 15% because of the overweight bonus. Also, we get to make all circulatory things cheaper, which is excellent. We're going to grab that. We're also going to go for obesity, making things even cheaper. Also sedentary. That's three lifestyle traits already shutting down the circulatory system. Let's throw one more on there for good measure. Now we've already managed to reduce all circulatory diseases by three points each. That adds up, especially since we're going to do a lot of them. Wow, you ate that burger and spontaneously gained like 30 pounds. You should probably go to a doctor. Why are you eating two of them now? It already happened once. You know the definite... Oh, he's going for a fourth one. You know the definition of insanity? <laughs> Trying something uh, and then uh, doing it repeatedly if expecting a different outcome? Yeah. Yeah, this guy, this guy has not learned his lesson. Uh, also, I'm just saying he should probably be dead for a number of different reasons already. Simply because he apparently gained, like, I don't know, I'm going to go for at least 90 pounds uh, in the course of, like, 48 hours. You know? Most people, most people would probably be dead from that transition period. All right, let's go for some more risk factors. Let's go for morbidly obese, which makes everything even cheaper. It's perfect. 
We could go for the over 60 years old, which is not bad. Having cheaper skeletal stuff can be nice. Workaholic is not bad either. I do like getting smoker, though. Guess what it affects? The circulatory system. Uh, malnutrition can be pretty good. Hereditary is okay. But I think we're going to go for the smoker first. We may end up going for workaholic and uh, alcoholism. Because uh, that also can be pretty good for us. So let's let's try going down that strategy. Ultimately, I like to have some risk factors in just about everything. By the way, that's that's a total of six burgers. Six burgers. The man does not learn his freaking lesson. This guy deserves to die. Darwin Awards, am I right? No? no? Oh, okay. Okay, that's fine. I don't have to be win. I'm mostly just trying to make conversation. By the way, we've already passed through like a hundred freaking days, and we haven't done a dang thing. So some people would think that this strategy is a little bit boring, but whatever, it works. Alcoholic, digestive, renal, and nervous. I really do want to be hurting that nervous system a lot more. Now is kind of the point, though, where we could start affecting our patient. He also, uh, no, for some reason I thought we just evolved 60 years old, but we did not. All right, let's go to the circulatory system. A lot of this stuff is now actually free. So we might as well go for the things like the hypertension, high cholesterol, and blood clots, because guess what? It's freaking free, so we might as well. We'll save up the rest of our points for more risk factors, but these have all relatively minor symptoms, so I don't know if they're going to be enough to get him to go to the doctor. One, actually, the other thing we could do is either go for nosocomophobia, so he's less likely to go to the doctor, though I don't expect that's going to last for very long anyway, or bad doctors and really try to stack up that diagnostic penalty, which gives me, by the way, a lot more time to react to the doctor's diagnosis and cures. That can be pretty good. You know, don't underestimate the power of this intensive care. I know it's very easy to forget, but they can be pretty powerful. They really can. All right, let's just see. I just need to get a couple more points. The circulatory system. Now, right now, all of our damage is being focused right here. We have pretty small amounts of um, collateral damage affecting the other systems. But the cool thing about the circulatory system, and one of the reasons I do like to focus on it pretty early on, is that uh, it will eventually have a lot of collateral damage associated with it, with the uh, stroke, aneurysm, post phlebitic syndrome, and the, um, oh, what is it, pulmonary embolism? I think that's what it was, yeah. Now, keep in mind, some of this stuff is locked out until we get more risk factors, which is one of the reasons we're going to have to go for things like over 60 years old. It doesn't sound like it's going to directly affect the circulatory system, but guess what? It will, because apparently you can't have some of these things until you get real old. So... We'll figure that out. Uh, I think we needed 12 points for this, so let's go ahead and speed things up yet again. Because this scenario is a little slow, but again, marathon, not a sprint. Don't rush it. Do it right so you don't have to do it more time. You know, if you want to save yourself five minutes, great, but if you fail, you know how much longer it's going to take to try this whole scenario again? Yeah, you're smart. You know how to do math. Well, I guess it depends a bit on how long you took for the video in the first place. But you get my point. It takes a while. All right, let's go for the over... Well, is it over 60 years old that you need? I actually need to confirm this. Uh, we actually can't see this until we get some of these other things. Wait a minute, what am I talking about? Never mind, we have access to these up front. What am I talking about? I'm sorry, there are other ones we're going to have to do that, just not in the circulatory system. We are completely fine here. Um, okay, so we're going to worry about getting instead... I do want to get alcoholic. It is good. Um... Alternatively, there's Unlucky and there's Nymphomania. Mm. Let's just save up the points, I think. It'll be fine. We do want to get things... Okay, now we're going to the doctor. So it's going to happen now anyway. No reason to uh, to go for nosocomophobia. So yeah, um, I don't know why I was thinking that we need to get uh, 60 years old. Apparently, I'm not very smart. It's okay, though. It's okay, though. He's going for the blood pressure tests. Okay, so he wants to find out if we have hypertension. That's fine. Enjoy your aneurysm. That's what you get. That is what you get. For questioning me and trying to find out if you have freaking hypertension. Good news is these diagnostics are going to take a lot longer because we stacked up a couple of different boosters against that, which makes things easier for me. Um, now, one downside is it's going to be a while before we can get any boosters. The health has to be below 80%, so the extra harvest power and stuff, it's going to be a while. We'll get to it eventually. It's just not, not immediately. All right, so he's curing the hypertension. He's going to go for probably the deep vein thrombosis. No, sorry, the blood clots soon. We may want to go ahead and go for that stroke because pretty soon that is going to get locked out. So if we save up four more points, I probably will go for that. Then I want to... Oh, he's going for the brain MRI. Well, um, maybe we won't go for the stroke because he's about to diagnose it anyway. So you know what? I think that is a commitment right there. We're not going to go for the stroke because of the diagnostic tests that he is, are, uh, is doing. So, there's no point in picking it up right now. It's just a waste of time. Instead, we're going to go for things like the post-phlebitic syndrome. 
Instead, start affecting the uh, muscular system. I'd like to start hitting the respiratory system with the um, pulmonary embolism and so on. All these things would be good. Keep in mind, of course, that because he is uh, doing a brain MRI, it'll be a lot easier to confuse him about stuff like Parkinson's and stuff later, if we can get hereditary and over 60 years old. So he is going for the cure for deep vein thrombosis. Okay, so if I want to get pulmonary embolism, I need a lot of points right now. I'm probably not going to get that right now. Um, so actually, pulmonary embolism might have just been rejected to us, which is unfortunate, but not the end of the world. So yeah, sure enough, that's now locked out. So is the stroke. That leaves kind of a heart attack if we want to do a lot more damage to the circulatory system. And the cool thing is, even if we do shut down the circulatory system, if he still has diseases there, the AI tries to cure them even though the system's already dead. Probably because he wants to do an emergency care um, heart transplant or something. There we go. Now we're in the emergency room. Brain aneurysm is going to get cured. Okay. Um, pretty soon he's going to be below 80% health, which means I could go for a booster. Not sure it's worth it. I think it's more important to go for things like the heart attack. Uh, heart attack. He is going for an exercise electrocardiogram. I'll let him finish that test first. And then I think I can go for the um, heart attack after that. That said, we're already about to lose the circulatory system. Maybe we do not care. Maybe we do not. And if that's the case, then maybe instead I want to focus on, let's say, the nervous system. Since uh, we do know that we can go for the brain MRI fairly easily up there. He's going for the electrocardiography. Let's go for um, 60 years old, and I can't go for hereditary, so I wanted to get Parkinson's, but that's not an option right now. We'll come back to that in a little bit. All of the systems are going to be taking a lot of damage. Let's go ahead and grab the harvest power. The next one was for terminating a system that gets me 30% more resources, which is going to be quite good. Now, do keep in mind that the uh, AI doesn't have to completely cure the patient, just has to get to 100% recovery progress, which is going to be a bit of a problem. So the more um, diseases that the AI cures, the harder this is going to end up getting for me. Let's go ahead and grab the potassium deficiency. I'm going to start focusing a little bit more effort in the muscular system since uh, he is now trying to cure the post phlebitic syndrome, and I'd like to shut down that as quickly as I can. Can we go for the chronic muscle cramp? We can. Perfect, we'll do that next. Um, yeah, nervous and muscular seem like the best options for me right now. Um, if I can get hereditary, we could go for Parkinson's, and brain MRIs are a very expensive and uh, time-consuming test, so that will screw with the AI a bit if I do that. So let's go ahead and grab the hereditary risk factor right now. Actually makes the muscular system more likely to shut down as well, which suits me pretty nicely, even though post phlebitic syndrome is about to go away. He is going for metabolic panel, which means he's probably going to discover the chronic muscle cramp and potassium deficiency pretty early on here, which is um, unfortunate. Not sure I'm going to be able to do much about that at the moment, though. Hmm. Just waiting on points. There's potassium deficiency. That doesn't necessarily stop me, though, because I already have the chronic muscle cramp. I'm just worried about that recovery progress that I'm seeing right there. I'm also a little concerned that we're not getting a whole lot of points. I kind of expected us to get a lot more by now, and we are not getting that. I need 14 for Parkinson's. Parkinson's will do the damage to the nervous and the muscular system that I'm looking for. Uh, he also got a heart transplant. Good for you. So that's what I was kind of afraid the AI was going to do. Um, I do need a couple more points. We'll go for the Parkinson's. Physical exam, that's going to be chronic muscle cramp. Coming up in a minute. Can we please speed this up? So the circulatory system is not taking a lot more damage right now, in fact, because he's cured basically everything. Unfortunate, but okay. Parkinson's is going to start doing a lot of damage. All we have to do is get the muscular system to fail, and uh, then the circulatory system will fall apart right afterwards with more systems down. So I'm not worried too much about it. If I can't get any more points to take advantage of this... Um, Chronic muscle cramp while we still have that. I would like to. Let's see. Can I take advantage of that now? Yes, if I go for fibromyalgia. Let's go ahead and do that next. Then I think we save up some points and go for the next round of upgrades with 30% more resources. He is doing the brain PET scan, which means he is going to detect the uh, Parkinson's without doing a full brain MRI. Unfortunate for me, but not the end of the world. I really would have preferred that the AI had focused some of its effort in getting some um, lifestyle changes or something instead. Would have been a lot easier for me, but they didn't. Because why freaking would they? There's the Parkinson's being cured. That's going to be a lot of recovery progress, which now means I'm getting a little bit concerned about it. 
Uh, the AI is actually being really smart in their diagnostics right now. They're being very efficient, and that makes me kind of upset. Let's go for the chronic stress, then we could go for the nervous breakdown afterwards. Need to shut down that nervous system as quick as we can. Uh, chronic stress is already being cured. Hmm, fun. All right, let's go for the nervous breakdown next. I always have hated that little giggle. It's just terrifying, borderline terrifying that he can do things like that. It's like, what a manic episode that is. Jeez. All right, chronic stress is gone. It's fine. It was just a stepping stone to get to the next stage. Not the end of the world. Uh, would like to go for a burnout or dementia. Dementia might be fine. I do need one more point if we're going to make that work, though. Points, please. Just a little bit. Please, sir, can I have some more? There we go. Let's go for the dementia. Since he is over 60 years old, that is an option. Of course the AI invested in neuroregeneration. Well, now we may be a little bit in trouble here, actually, because I did not expect the AI to do quite so many uh, intensive cares. What we may have to do now is a doctor's strike to try and buy ourselves as much time as possible. I'd like to get some extra damage into, let's say, the skeletal system with the arthritis. Osteoporosis would be good. We just need to keep shutting down more systems. Circulatory is not going to last a whole lot longer. Now, this FMA test, if the AI is able to complete it, is going to uh, be enough to finish me off. So I do need to slow him down. If we go to recovery and go for a nurses on strike, that would certainly help. Uh, for that, I need 12 points. Also want to shut down that metabolic panel so we can't find anything else new there. Circulatory is gone again, which means we're going to have two systems working against the nervous and the skeletal. If both of those fall apart, great. Uh, please, for the love of God, give me some points. Thank you. Let's go for nurses on strike. And if we can save it for doctors on strike at 14 points, that'll buy me a lot more time. So actually, this has been proving to be a little bit more difficult than I think it should have been. We've been either playing sloppy or we've gotten kind of unlucky. What I probably should have done is actually saved up instead for the uh, drug addiction before I even bothered starting with the diseases in my patient. We could have really committed to the strategy to shut down that circulatory system a lot faster. All right, so he did finish that. He got a bone graft. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Okay, come on. I need a few more points here. We're so close to that recovery. Just a few more points. We're really close. Okay, two more. Bone x-rays. He's looking for it, but he can't find it. He can't figure out what the heck is wrong with him. There's the fibromyalgia. So if he gets that, we lose. Two more points, game. Good God, just give me the freaking point. This is why I tend to like the emergency room. I really do. Emergency room bonuses are nice. I'm very impatient when it comes to the better resources. All right, there we go. That shuts him down. The doctors go on strike, and guess what? A patient is going to freaking die. This is what you get for your selfishness, doctors. I'm just saying. And he's dead. There we go. So it certainly worked. That was way closer than it should have been. So I definitely could have been made uh, some better plays there. I do think I should have gone for the drug addict uh, a bit sooner. This score is abysmal. But either way, we win. And by the way, it took exactly one year. Exactly one year. Hmm. All right, we'll learn from my mistakes on that. Focus on a few more risk factors. Really be uh, targeted on that. Don't lose focus like I did. And then once you have all of the overweight uh, risk factors and the drug addict, then you can start working on the circulatory system and really freaking go for it. Really do. Anyway, that's all I need for today. So thank you all very much for watching. I do hope you found this helpful, though there are some improvements that could be made. If you did enjoy, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. And I, of course, will see you guys next time.